All right, here we are. Uh, last video of Lightroom 4 showing you uh, some things you can do with Lightroom. And I just want you to know it's hot today. 91. It's July. When am I recording this? July 27th. It's, it's hot. So you might be saying to yourself, Michael, why are you wearing a long sleeve shirt? Well, here's why. There's two reasons. There's two reasons. First, I look more professional than if I was just wearing the t-shirt. <laughs> At least I think I do. And the second reason is so I can clip my microphone to it. Makes it easier. Now you know. There's a reason for everything. All right, let's get on to the video. Let's get on to working with this photo of the leaf uh, on some rocks by a railroad track. So we're in the develop module. Here's what I'm gonna do. What we're gonna do with this photo is uh, do a process called selective color. And where I'm gonna, what that is, is everything in the photo becomes black and white except for one part of the photo that remains in color. So for this photo, I'm gonna do that uh, main golden, uh, orange gold leaf there will be in color. Everything else will be black and white. This is a really easy process. And um, let me show it to you. I'm gonna show you how to do selective color, then I'm gonna show you how to make it less of a special effect. So here we go, it's three steps, three steps. Uh, we're gonna use the adjustment brush for this, okay? So uh, step one is kind of set up to turn on the adjustment brush, reset everything to zero, um, turn off, off the auto mask, Make sure your flow is at 100, your density, I'm at the bottom here of the brush panel below uh, the main controls where we have the brush uh, controls themselves, and density is at 100. Uh, the feather can be almost anywhere, but I leave it at about 50. Uh, auto mask is off again. So what I'm gonna do with this, everything's at zero here. Here's the end of step number one. Take the saturation slider, and go to minus 100 in the adjustment brush panel, okay? If, so when I do this, nothing changed in the image because I have not painted anywhere with the brush with this setting yet. If you're, when you did it and your photo went to black and white, uh, you're not in the adjustment brush, you're in the basic panel. So undo that, come back up here, join me in the adjustment brush. So step number one is uh, get that set up to minus 100. And then step number two is make your brush really, really big. Remember we can use the scroll wheel to make our brush bigger and smaller. I have a really big brush. And I'm just gonna click, I'm gonna start in the top right corner, click and brush and paint everything in the image and it's now all black and white. Since we're doing the whole image, do it as fast as you can like five seconds fast with a very large brush, okay? So basically spray painting the whole image black and white. When I put my mouse over that uh, pin, it should show everything is red. It's been covered by this. So that was step two, painting with black and white. Easy so far, right? Here's step three. Step number three is to come down here to the erase, I mean, to the brush controls at the bottom change to erase, and what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna leave auto mask on when I start because I'm gonna work in the detail area along the edge of the leaf, and I'm gonna click and brush back in where I want the color to appear. So I'm gonna go around the edges kind of slow, and da da da. Play the Jeopardy theme song in your head. Da -da 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 -da. That's not the Jeopardy theme song. Do, 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 do. There it is. All right. So I've gone around the edges. I'm going to turn off auto mask. Now get a larger brush uh, and go back and paint where I want the color to reappear. Um, Make, you know, make sure you use tiny brushes if you wanna be super detailed along these edges. You might wanna zoom in, which is Command plus. Command plus again if you wanna zoom in more. Hold down the space bar to go over this way so you can see what you did. So if you wanna be super picky, go ahead and do that. Um, I'm gonna kinda of call it good here. All right, so I'm gonna zoom back out. There you go, that's uh, selective color. It's so easy, it's just three steps. Step number one, 
uh, turn on the adjustment brush, take the, uh, double click the word effect to reset everything in the adjustment brush, go down to saturation, take that to minus 100 inside the adjustment brush panel. Continue on down to the, the brush controls, make sure your uh, feathers at around 50, the flow is at 100 and uh, the density is at 100. Turn off auto mask. And that completes step number one. Step number two is make your brush really, really big with the scroll wheel on your mouse and then paint on your whole image. It will go all black and white. And then step number three is to change the type of brush you're using to the erase brush. Turn auto mask on, work with a small brush around the edge detail of the area you want to restore color to. And there you go. Okay. So again, with the to show you where... Um, the um, the mask is with the red. I just put my mouse over here. Uh, you can see I missed a little area, but it's it's so dark it doesn't show up. Okay, so this looks like a special effect. It's kind of cool, has its purpose, but uh, it's a little strong for me. But here's what it does. And I've said this a lot, and I'll say it f almost forever. <laughs> One of the things we can do with uh, with the software is to help shape attention. So back here where we started, yes, you'll see that golden leaf, but it's a little hard because everything else is equally saturated, equally the same exposure. Here, it's really easy. It's the exact opposite. It's the only thing in color. There's a middle ground. So now that I've brushed everywhere but the leaf, I can make it less drastic. So I could take the saturation and make it not minus 100, but maybe minus 30 or 40 or 50. So I take most of the color out of those other rocks and other parts of the image, okay? Another thing I can do, shape attention again, is maybe take my exposure and go a little darker everywhere but that leaf, okay? So now the leaf looks like it's got a little light on it. It's a little brighter. Now one thing happened here, see this leaf up here is also red, so it's pulling attention. So what I'm gonna do is a new brush here. I'm gonna make a new brush. And I still have minus 100 saturation, so I'm, I don't want the big brush this time. I'm just gonna paint uh, just on this one leaf um, and just back out some of the color. There you go. So we went from um, using this as a special effect with uh, spot, uh, spot color, sorry, spot color. And now we're using it kind of as a, as a attention shaping. So again, here's before, here's after. So it's a quick way with using the adjustment brush, paint everywhere on the image with say black and white because it's easy to see that you've covered the whole image and then erase your subject from that and then modify uh, where you painted everything, maybe with saturation, exposure, those kind of things to shape attention on your subject. There you go. Another Lightroom thing to use on your photos in an easy and um, fun, hopefully, way. If you have questions, let me know. Send me an email. Stop by Zoom office hours. And um, yeah, that's it for this video. <laughs> Hope you're having fun. It's hot. I can't think very clearly right now. <laughs> so I'm going to call it good for now and say I will see you in the next video. Have a good one. Have fun creating photos. Have fun uh, editing in Lightroom. Play around. It's, it's your crayon box. Enjoy. So see you next time.